Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, finally, it's happening. I didn't buy the definitive edition for the record. Someone told me in my finale of Vice City that on PlayStation Now, you can get Grand Theft Auto 3 on the definitive edition. And I was like, that's the only one I want to play. So I got this for like seven pounds and I'm like, yes. I just, I had no intention of replaying two games that I have literally just played just because they upscaled some graphics. I wasn't gonna do it. So I was like, it's like it's meant to be, right? Like it's just meant to be. So I am here with the Definitive Edition. Now funnily enough, I was actually gonna be playing something completely different today, but it's got a massive update. And can I just tell you guys the game of the year this year? This thing right here. Christmas break head-to-head. -head. I even have platinum. This is where I'm at, okay? I have spent far too many hours playing this game. It's like anytime I go on my computer, I'll be like, I might play some Christmas break. And then I just sit there for hours and hours and hours. I guess that's what like people do with Candy Crush and things like that. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that. We're finally here to play some Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, I want to let you guys know in the beginning, I have turned off the radio. I've got ants in my pants today, I don't know why. I've turned off the radio because I'm sick and tired of getting copyright claims, not strikes, claims. Oh, I'm so excited. This is where it like all began for me. Not necessarily, I played GTA 1 when it first came out. But I remember Playing this game on the PS2. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just a small time. Oh, honey. Damn. Look at him, though. So exciting. So, yeah, I have played this game back on the PS2 era. But obviously, I'm so excited to see some of the upscaling. Some of the bugs as well. I'm ready for it. Give me the bugs. I want Liberty to see City what the big is deal is. Today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. We're With good. the quarter tunnel project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. That's right, and then the bridge gets fixed. Oh, it's all coming back to me. Come yes, on. I remember this. Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. I feel like obviously they've not redone the voices, aye, so aye, it's gonna be off. really weird having like shit audio quality with like half decent um, graphics. It's gonna be so weird. Look at him though! Dun dun dun! So funny how I've gone from like San Andreas Vice City to 3, but the graphics are gonna be better in 3. on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low but my hands are all messed up so you, you better drive back. brother oh man can i oh, oh i can move the camera you have no idea guys no idea vice city was killing me having to walk like this and then waiting for the camera to change like my motion sickness was unbelievable this is head radio love media station head radio How do I break? How do I break? I was pressing square! Okay, how we doing? 
listening to Head Radio. Oh, it is pretty though. It, like it is kind of pretty. Oh man, right. I could have sworn I turned the radio off though. Radio's off. Huh? Okay, well. Good. Strange. Well, we'll just turn it down. I don't know, maybe this is like a copyright free one, but I highly doubt it. This is so pretty! I can't believe it! You made it. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm kind of digging this right now. So, I'll try to remember it. It's up here. Oh, I didn't like the way that just suddenly stopped like that, though. So when you're not on a mission, you can save your game here. This will advance time. That's right, time's a thing. The garage next door can store one vehicle. Like, look at this, though. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back, so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over here. Okay, thank you. Oh, I think now the radio's off. It drives kind of nice. I might respray the car, because it's looking kind of shitty already. Kinda shitty. What? It's a thousand to respray this bullshit? Why do I gotta pay shit? It's not my fault. Kinda my fault, not my fault. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh my god. The way it just like... Eh, you could be going so fast that it's like... Stop. Dead stop. Hmm. Okay. I will criticize. I paid a whole eight pounds for this game. While I go in and talk to Luigi. Oh man, the memories are just coming back. That's right. I don't say anything in this game either. April got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car. And pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Who out. is beeping their freaking horn? Like, if I had a gun right now, I would shoot them. Stop it. Hey, look, like, let, let me see. Drive round me, fool! Hey, right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, I don't have enough money for a respray. So, we'll be stealing a car pretty soon. Oh, it's actually, you guys, it's really pretty. It is really pretty. I can't pick up that girl in this. Um, I don't want a taxi. What about this hunk of shit? Oh my god, there, there needs to be an option. That worked out. There needs to be an option to turn off car horns. Cause my fudge, you guys. Hey girl. Hi, I'm Misty. Hi, Misty. Oh shit, I ran over the cops, I didn't do anything. I can hear the ice cream. Ah, son of a bitch. So we're gonna be just fine. Oh, I need to skirt. Did you see that? That handbrake turn was sick. I need to start doing some missions so I can get some money. Kind of freaks me out that I've got no money. Hold on, this car is shit. We're gonna go super fast and stop. There we go, first bit of money. Hey! Okay, so we've got L right here, so let's go and do this one. Don't spank my bitch up! Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Those by the name of Spank. Some wise guys, 
and introduce this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. <laughs> my guy's just like, dude, it's not that deep, is it really? Okay, she'll take the bat. L1 to cycle. Oh! Have an actual weapon wheel. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. What I can't remember the name of my character. Oh. Oh, that was that was really strange with the camera just then. So while I'm well aware that the definitive edition has its hang-ups. Um, I just want to go into this, have a good time, you know, not really be too fast by- oh my god, you just got fucked up. What I'm trying to say is I don't want to listen to what everyone has been saying about the game. I want to make up my own mind, but also be aware of the situation. You know how it is. He- yo! Yeah, I don't think I need the- the bat. <laughs> Give me your money, bitch! So it's definitely, um... It's definitely lonely without some kind of, uh... Radio on, am I right? This is radio. Let's go for default. So how do I change the radio? Even just have something like talking in the background. Oh my god, these cars are like flying. Why? Why the suspension? I feel like it's good to have some sort of background noise because otherwise it just gets a little bit cringe. I don't know. When I was playing Vice City, I really liked having the music on, even if it was just low in the background. But, you know, that was like an 80s classic. I did really enjoy the music, but also the YouTube really did enjoy claiming everything, so. Oh my god! My favorite song! I just remembered! Hold on. I don't remember the radio station it was on, though. It was like, I'm hot tonight! Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But we gotta find it. Oh my god! This song was my favorite song in GTA 1. Anytime this song came on, I would just stand still. Or if I was in the car, I would just be still. Oh my god, some memories! <laughs> Lips 106. That is the one, you guys. That's the radio station. Ah, uh, so what do we think? Well, I kind of like it. I wonder if this will be the best looking game. How do, can I sprint? Is there no sprinting? Weapon wheel, punching, punching. So there's no sprint in this game, or am I crazy? I click down. Is that right that there was no sprint in this game? Oh my gosh, I keep pressing square to drive. I wonder if that's just from Vice City. I, oh my god, that guy's got a gun. I am trying to just drive like a regular person, but... Oh, a little bit of opera there, you guys. La! I had it on a combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. 
Misty's not even my type anyway. She's got that cat and haircut thing going. Okay. Um. Lips 106. Whoa! That seemed odd. Skirt! Come here, girl. I didn't even hear the horn! I mean, she kind of walks like a regular human. What do you mean? We just met. You don't know if I'm trustworthy or not. Like, I could be an absolute freak. I probably am a complete freak. Woo! Is it just me or is it slightly easier to drive in this game? I'm driving like a boss, you guys. Whoa, I don't know. Or am I? What the hell just happened there? So I do think that Lips 106 was my favorite radio station. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh. It's okay, we'll cross country. There's too much traffic. time okay I was expecting it to just like stop but it didn't so I'm glad I'm glad it didn't Joey! am I gonna get to play with your big ends again I'll be with you in a minute spark plug hey I'm Joey Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? He's like, all right, no bother. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the phone? We all know how much I love phone missions. Ah, I got it. Here. The crook. The name is John. Marty Chucks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood sucking leech. Uh oh. You know, I don't think I ever did any of the pain. Pain. <laughs> you will know pain. I don't think I did any of the payphone stuff back in the day, so I don't remember this. Oh, right in front of a police car. Good job. Good job. I want to be in here. Excuse me! Uh-huh. Listen, I hope the police don't get in the way. Go and meet the bank manager. Okay, let's go. Wow, they knew I went in here and they gave up straight away. Fair enough. Whoa, I'm having issues with the driving. Oh my god, I'm having a couple of issues with the, the car. Look, it's like a handbrake turning by itself. That's not me. Hmm. Okay, whoa. Skirt. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's go pay him a visit. Let me put my lips on your... Wait, that, that, that's not what I was trying to say. I'm trying to put the, the radio station on that I like. Here we go. Whoa. This way. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's just some cars are a bit dodgy. Beep beep. I'm just driving a guy to his death. Oh, 
Have fun. Really sorry. Pogo the monkey. Get your hands off me, Take the car to the crusher. All right. Did he say take your hand off my arse? Or did I mishear that? I might have misheard that. So I am going to play some Max Payne. No, I'm not, am I? Is it Max Payne or... No, Alan Wake. Oh my god. I keep mixing those two up and I don't know why. Alan Wake. Apparently, it's quite spooky. Now, I'm not really into spooky games. But there's something about the game, I just wanted to try it. Like, if I don't like it, then I don't have to obviously finish it. Um, so, yeah, I'll upload my first episode so I can... Okay. So I can give, like, my thoughts and things like that. Um, but yeah, I am. I'm excited to play it. I, I don't know why. There's not many games that I get that excited about. But that is one of them. I'm like, oh man, I'm so hyped to play that game. Whoa! Here it goes. In you go. Why do I feel like at some point there's gonna be a mission where someone's in that and we lower it into the crusher? Maybe not, but... Dun, 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 dun. What's this? Disposing of evidence. I can't believe there's no sprint. Like, am I crazy? I thought there was a sprint button. I need to stop pressing X to drive. It's really putting me off. <laughs> X to drive and square to uh, reverse. Because that's what I was used to. Um, but this one's like... Well, I guess this is new age. Uh, what the fuck? Guys, out the way! I don't remember the traffic being this bad. But it is. Oh, oh. It's not my fault, I promise. It's so nice to be back in the world of this game. I have so many memories. I remember getting bullied. Which isn't such a good memory. But I would come home and I would play this game. So it is kind of taking me back to those days when things weren't so easy. But it's not like a bad thing. Like it's not the worst thing in the world. What? Oh, you motherfucker. I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah, it's not that it's a bad thing, it's just, it just reminds me. Whoa, was that the police? It's also interesting. So when I was playing San Andreas on this channel, people were quite nasty in the beginning. I guess it's just a fandom where people are very protective of their game. I get it. I get like that with Final Fantasy. But I had a ton of people that were like, oh my god, I bet you're just playing this for views, I bet you don't even know what Grand Theft Auto is. And I was like, listen, most of you that are playing GTA V have no idea what the first game was. Like, Grand Theft Auto 1 was one of the first games I ever played in my life. And I played GTA 1, GTA London, and then GTA 3. And then I just, like, my taste in games changed. So I definitely found it kind of insulting when people were like, oh, you don't really care about GTA. It's like... has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Abner Nation opposite the subway. Thank you. So yeah, I kind of took offense to it a little bit because it's like, well, it's not like that. I played San Andreas because... Steve Joe recommended me to. He's like, well, you know that you love... Oh, now I can sprint. Oh, cool. Thank you. He's like, you know that you love GTA. I had just finished playing 
the main Batman games, and I was just kind of looking for someone to play. So yeah, I definitely, when I was seeing those comments, I was like, ew. I get it, like, there is a lot of people on YouTube who do everything for views. Like, I do get it. But I will be honest with you, there are games I have played on YouTube for views. And there are games, like for example, this channel, there's no stress or pressure, I can play whatever I want. What's going on here? So like, it's not like that for me. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am living for this right now. Like, you do you. Whatever. Don't care. I'm getting out of this glitchy mess. Ha oh. Oh, hey. Excuse me. Let me fire. Yo! My lord! Look at my HP! Wow. Right, hold on. I gotta fix this. What the fuck? The pistol. Right. I'm doing this for the sake of the guy at ammunition, okay? Because he... Wait, is this car stuck? I'm gonna get you. Is this car stuck? Hold on. Wait, it wasn't even stuck. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm moving this for the sake of the ammunition owner because that shit was getting irritating. So anyways. Yeah, I do get it. Like, there's people that do things just for views, mainly, on YouTube. I've been there. I have been one of them. But also... I like to play a lot of games that I really want to play. And I definitely wanted to make this channel a place for playing what I want to play. And that's why I tend to do marathons, I don't tend to do a lot of different games at once. Or any kind of brand new games for that matter. Unless I am truly interested in them. Because it's not about money for me, I just play games for fun. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their grain. Okay. Oh, shit. We're timed. Right. Well, I need a car. A taxi will do. Give me a taxi. See ya. Okay, there's one pretty close to me, so we'll get this one first. Oh, I still can't drive in this game. Petsovernight.com. That's so fucked, man. You shouldn't do that. Don't, don't be a Petsovernight.com person. Uh, wait. Excuse me. Oh my God, my fucking way. I'm not a bad driver, you're a bad driver, okay? Oh, there we go. Get in, baby. Right, we can get one more in this hunk of shit. I wish I could just get like a massive truck. And then I'll just get them all in the back. <laughs> I mean, yes, it would look dodgy. I'm well aware of that. Ah, oh, fuck. Get in, baby. Okay, thank you. There is so much traffic in this place. Like, I got places to be. Not there. Wait, where do I... Oh, it's there. there we go. Thanks, girls. Do you see what I mean, though, about when you go into the blue 
section. It's kind of crazy the way it just stops the way it does. I don't know why it does that. Oh well, never mind. Come here, baby. Pretty sure I just picked you up, but in a different outfit, but anyway. I'm not here to judge. This was back in the day when there really wasn't too many different character models, but whatever. Okay, where's the closest one down here? I'm just running people over left, right, and center. Like, they just, they get in my way. Right, let's take these ones back. I actually wondered about this mission. Does it matter how many people you take? Like, if I take 10, does that mean I get more money from the mission, or? Get the fucking, fucking police, man. Oh. Oh, this mission just got a little bit more interesting. Shit, didn't mean it, didn't mean it, didn't mean it, didn't mean it. Get out, girls! Wait, that- I lost a star! Do you see that? How did I lose a star? That- like, that never happens. Is this game on easy? Like, why did I lose a star? That's crazy. Like, if you get two stars in Vice City or whatever, it's just- It's an absolute nightmare, you know? I'm sorry, I just have to drive over everyone because I just, I need, uh, I need to collect my bitches. How does she think that she's going to get work down here? Oh yeah, I'm going to hoe it up. But it's like, how is she getting work down here? Alright, let's go. Oh, excuse me. There she is. Is that it? Is that the mall? Whoa. I can't kill any of his girls because I will get shafted. Whoa, why you use your fucking indicators! just then all out did I have to get them all though like did that really matter oh no we don't want to do taxi missions not yet anyway okay what time is it I think we can go do a J mission now so there's really not too much to Grand Theft Auto 3 if I recall a lot of it is just mission after mission after mission it was really the later games that started introducing other aspects. In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Okay. I hated this mission, actually. Trying to remember why. Yes, yes, I'm going. Yeah, I feel like I'm being kind of reckless with my driving, but in the same breath, I feel like you have to be quick. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I've got false nails on just now, and my nail fell off the, uh, the analog. Like it slipped off. That's what I would tell the judges. Why did you murder that person? Well, I had fake nails and 
They fell off the wheel when I was driving. It's convincing. I don't see how it's not. Now, if I remember with this bloody mission, if you smash up the car even like a little bit, you then have to go get it resprayed. So, let's uh, not do that. Obviously, the point is, yeah, you're trashing the vehicle, get it repaired. I remember that. I think that was why I never liked this mission. What the fuck? Because, like, you could be on your way back, and um, then it's like, nah, man, you're trashing the vehicle. Go get it sprayed again. And it's like, fuck off, please. Okay, well, I think that this is where you get the bomb put in anyway. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so that's not where I put the bomb in. Right, we just gotta be careful then. Drive like your life depends on it. There's a lot of missions like this in this game where it's like... Like you have to be so careful with your driving because otherwise it's just gonna send you back. And we don't want that now, do we? I thought that that was gonna wreck the car. I was like, oh my god. But it's kind of fine because we're gonna have to pass it anyway. anyone down just keep your cool because it doesn't give you much yeah. it doesn't give you much time if you smash the car up you know the last thing you need is if people decide to start switching lanes I'm gonna start switching lanes but you're not Okay. Easy. Easy. Here we go. Had three whole minutes left. I must just be so good at driving. That's all I can say. Eat till you explode. Why, why do I have the Pope on me? What did I do? It wasn't me. I feel like I need to get rid of this car. Maybe in the worst kind of way. I'll keep it for just now. Oh, not like that though. Just this soundtrack. Like, all of these songs are so good. I'm just gonna say it, guys. They don't make music like they used to. Eh, there we go, I said it. Showing your age now, Susie. What? Is that a phone? The thieves. I hired some thieves to break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance issue. The thieving bastards are threatening to tell the insurance company if I don't give them a cut. Can you believe it? I left the car inside the factory gates. Use it to go pick them up from their turf in the red light district. Then bring them back to the factory so I can make them see Marty's point of view. I don't know why anybody messes with this guy. He's clearly psychotic. Oh, damn it. Damn it! Why is it just constantly big vehicles here? I need, like, a decent vehicle. Mm. Mm. It's kind of strange seeing people not in, like, bikinis and stuff like that. Good old San Andreas. But I don't think that this vehicle is going to be good enough, actually. I think that's the thing, whenever it gives you missions like this, you're better off just taking a taxi. Because then it's just easy enough to 
pick people up, you know? Head radio. Oh, wait, I had to take his car anyway. Oh. Duh. How else are they gonna know? Damn it, I want lips. Actually, didn't they bring this game to the PS4? Like the original. Because I was checking through my games that I already own. And it was like, you already own this game. And I was like, really? Because I don't remember. I don't remember buying it on PS4, but there's so many classics that I own that I'll be like, I don't remember having these. But I'm one of those people that buys like a ton of games and then never plays them. Bonk. Especially, so at the moment there's like a winter sale on just now and I'm like, oh, Mustn't look. There's nothing I need. There's nothing I could possibly want. Oh my god, excuse me. But I always find something and it's really bad. So this is gonna be another one, isn't it? Where I drop them off, they get murdered, and then we go and scrap the car. Excuse me. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> In you go. Get murdered. And they're gone. It's all because of me. I feel like when I start playing a new GTA game, it's always the calm before the storm. The initial beginning parts of these games is all like learning the controls, getting to drive around the area so you can kind of get used to where you're going, where the jobs are. And then before you know it, it starts introducing like the really tough missions that you're just like, oh, nah. So I look forward to getting there. I never remember this game being that difficult. There's a couple of missions later on, I think, but there's nothing too major that I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I'm dreading that mission or whatever. Wait, why do I need to respray it? I thought I was to get rid of it. Oh, fair enough. I thought I was getting it blown up. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful then. If I've had it resprayed, he obviously doesn't want it returned with anything on it. No running people down as much as I would like to. I definitely, maybe you guys can tell me from watching, but I definitely feel like the driving is much better in the definitive edition. I feel like the taxi was just trying to hit me then. Whew, okay. This game is not generous when it comes to respraying stuff and returning it. Like if you get one nick on it, it'll tell you to go back. It's horrible. <laughs> Easy. Right, I should definitely go and save it, considering I've done 45 minutes worth of missions. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Wait, are you coming after me or what? No? Right away. You having fun over there? Yes, I am. 
God, the um the NPCs in this game are really aggressive towards each other. So so far I haven't had anything happen to me that's made me be like, "Oh no. This is so much worse than the original blah blah blah." Oh oh. Oh, nice. First roll, baby. And we still nailed it. And no. Where's my house? He's having a rave over there, like. Try to, like, the best way. Oh no, control it. Just so I can save my game. Oh, there it is. Found it. Is this gonna fit? Is that, isn't that what they all ask? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done! Easy peasy. Okay, I can rest as I have done all these missions and I... Oh, I'll take that. What is that? This is cool. Like, this wheel, I'm digging that. I'm really, really into that. Okay, I'm all out of time for this episode of Grand Theft Auto 3. I hope you are happy with my decision to play this game. It is short and sweet. Like, five hours or something like that. So it's not going to take me long to get through this game, she says. Do I have any shoes? It's like I have the longest trousers on in the world. Thank you so much for watching me play this game. I'm so excited to be back playing this. It looks amazing in comparison to what I'm used to in regards to this game. Make sure you are subscribed for more and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.